Hello everybody and welcome to this week's writing prompt. Suitable for writers everywhere but especially for those who enjoy writing about their life. My name is Elizabeth Bazant and for most of my life I've been a writer and a writing coach. So if this sounds like the kind of thing you'd be interested in please give me the thumbs up and press the subscribe button. This week's writing prompt doesn't actually come from one of my packs of writing prompts, but if you do enjoy it, there are many similar ones in the Writing From Life Autobiography Writing Prompts packs. And this week's prompt is, what is the one food habit that you're known for? Of course, you might have more than one, but what is the main one? And when I say that, I don't necessarily mean your eating habits, more the food habits specifically. So that if somebody is holding a party, is there something you're usually taking? For example, are you the one that always takes the amazing apple pie or the pavlova? Or do you take the potato salad? Or are you the ones taking the vegetarian or vegan meal? Or are you providing the gluten-free cake? Or perhaps you're the one that's always known for bringing the newest and most exquisite recipe that there is. On the other hand, a food habit might be an eating thing. For example, I'm known in our family for being the one that doesn't eat the mushroom stalks and avoids the crust of the bread if possible. I'm also known as the one in the family who rarely carries a mug without looking like they're going to spill whatever's inside it. And for often when we go in out for a coffee or a hot chocolate, I'm the one that has to slurp my drink whilst it's sitting on the table so as to avoid spilling it all over myself and the floor. Not very ladylike and I'm sure my mum would be absolutely shocked. But... Like I say, we all have these fun little things that we do. Um, whether it's something that you create, as in what's your secret, what are you known for having a secret recipe for, a family recipe, or is there something special that you put in a meal that you'd never expect? Is there a combination of vegetables and meat or things like that that nobody else would consider combining? but you do, and it's always very popular. Maybe you have interesting taste buds and you put a certain kind of sauce on food that people wouldn't normally consider. I mean, there are so many variations because we all seem to have different tastes and no matter what we're supposed to conform to, there's always something. Even if it's only that you don't like spicy food or that you like really, really, really spicy food and put chilli on everything. So there you go. That is this week's writing prompt. What food habit are you known for? Like I say, if you enjoyed this prompt, please feel free to give me the thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, these weekly writing prompts come out every Tuesday, 10 a.m. Tassie time. And of course, if you hit the subscribe button, YouTube won't let you forget. And next time you log on, there will be a queue of writing prompts to keep you going. So you'll never be short of something to write about again. If you can't wait, though, until next week for the prompt, please remember that I do have an Etsy store that is filled with all kinds of packs of writing prompts. And I will put a link to that in the description. But other than that, until next week, have fun with your writing and I hope to see you soon. Bye.